for the first uh, Danny Thomas show, uh, Danny, of course, was an incredible stand-up comedian. Uh, I, I had done the I'll See You In My Dreams with him where he didn't work. He worked um, as a songwriter as it was a character, but on the television show, I have to go back to the beginning of how the show began. As I told you, he needed money, and uh, Lou, Lou Edelman was going to be the producer of the show. A, you know, we didn't have a sponsor. We didn't have anything then. Uh, we went out to Danny's house, and his wife was there, and his kids were there, uh, who are now have their own uh, uh, reputations in the business. And uh, I didn't really have a, a decent idea for that uh, pilot for the show. And I remember Danny saying, oh, you know, we've been there for about an hour. He says, oh, this is terrible. He says, you know, I was planning. I'm out on the road all the time playing all the nightclubs, and uh, I only get home, you know, maybe once a month or something like that. He said, my kids don't know me, you know, and uh, uh, it's like I'm a, I'm a stranger in my own house. And I said, that's it. He said, what's it? I said, that's the show. You're a nightclub comedian. You don't come home, and uh, nobody knows you. And uh, uh, his wife says, well, that's true. That's true. She says, as a matter of fact, she said, the, um, uh, the little boy uh, always sleeps with me, and I have to tell him to get out of the bed. And he says, what for? And I say, you have to make room for daddy. And that became the title of the show, Make Room for Daddy. How did you decide what elements to put into it? Well, don't forget, I was coming from motion pictures. And I believe in a beginning, a middle, and an end, usually in that form. And I also uh, knew a little bit about dramatic construction and also what might be funny and so forth. And the way to combine the two, you know, um, we put a great deal of sentiment in the show. You know, the, the line was that Danny Thomas was the kind of guy who cries at basketball games. And uh, we usually, uh, on top of the comedy, there was usually a sentimental moment uh, that we played off toward the end of the show. And we had some wonderful, wonderful uh, uh, performers uh, out of various areas that made up the family. And that's really what happens. And what happens in a good sitcom is that it becomes a family and that you get to know the family and get to like them and you forgive them their mistakes and so forth.